what's up beautiful people it's Cinderella. welcome to the channel today we'll have this very interesting video and it's titled woman mad that confident man won't acknowledge her cries for financial help okay i'm excited to check this one out let's check it out so probably one of my most asked questions is why am i single and i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys because i'm not impressed this man tried to read me y'all he said you've been single for so long you don't even know what did he say and i'm ready for us to have a real comprehensive conversation about the single black woman epidemic down here because it's bad i encountered someone like that and when it came down to actually asking for their help not in like a i need money or whatever way but to like better myself they didn't want to offer that help because they can see that i view them you know platonic so this man that's been trying to get me to go on a date with him for the longest time finally lost his shit today he just messaged me and said at some point you're gonna have to stop being delusional hmm. in thinking that this man that you're waiting for actually exists and just give me a shot because what else are you gonna do but wait for your imaginary man <clears throat> is he telling the truth yeah <laughs> really is he telling the truth are are we delusional in our waiting really is he telling the truth wait she's asking if he's telling the truth of course because most women they are so delus delusional with the way they say when they say or oh, they want a certain type of man because the question is this type of man that you want how many people in existence are in that group or are in that surrounding or are in that group of the type of person you want and fun fact is that type of people remember that you have tons of competition out there so this is not even talking about settle or lower your standard it's about being real because most most people are so unrealistic oh come on if he's telling the truth of course he's telling the truth stop being delusional or waiting for an imaginary man just because you saw princess cinderella got the prince charming man think that prince charming will come to you just like how most men turn their women to Princess Cinderella, you can also turn your men to your Prince Charming. But yeah, let's go on. So probably one of my most asked questions is, why am I single? And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys because I'm not impressed. I get Timmy, Jacob, John, Jimmy, Matthew and Marcus all in my DMs all saying the same thing all doing the same thing all acting the same way And then you want me to sit here and give my top tierness to Someone who just sounded like someone else who just hit me up about five minutes ago Yes, ma'am. A lot of men are pretty much the same way. They act the same way If today's men are talking to a lady and trying mm -hmm. to get to know her things may progress a little slower I think what she's trying to say is a lot of guys are not really talking about marriage I'm not sure. Top tierness to someone who just sounded like someone else who just hit me up about five minutes ago. I'm not, I'm just not impressed. That's really all it is. Like the things that I see, like my dad raised me a certain type of way and showed me how a man is supposed mm -hmm. to be. And the fact that that's what I'm expecting and men can't even like live up to that standard just keeps me single even longer. And then on top of that, they want me to sit here and be like this top tier woman to some basic ass type of treatment. No, I have more fun being single. And when I say fun, that don't mean I'm out here just hopping and dropping it. These ladies kill me acting as if they got to get the whole red carpet pulled out for them. Looking at you, ma'am, and looking at your social media, you look like a lady who is very average and basic as well. Men would feel no reason to outwardly impress you, like really jump through some hoops and really, you know, do things. Now, look, there is a good man out there mm -hmm. for this lady. She's a single mom as well with kids, and also she's a realtor. 
so she make commissions off of selling homes and that's a red flag for men we stay away from realtors just like we stay away from nurses flight attendants etc so a lot of okay now let's even talk about this she's saying uh calling like man say is basic of course they will give you what and uh, they'll give you what they can offer do you expect the basic man or the man who can offer the basic things to go out of the way to provide you f what he can't afford or what he can't provide is those high expectations that people like this always expect a man to have that causes or makes them to be single forever you've got a man that can afford the basic thing you're saying oh no you can't even accept the very basic thing that no wonder you've got tons of people in your dms and you are looking for what you can't have because you're saying they are too basic or they can't afford the basic thing oh god wake me up from this dream because this right here is messed up let's go on a lot of guys are not gonna jump through their hoops putting any extra effort in there especially when you come online and tell men you got all these men in your dms and they mm -hmm. want to press you that's not gonna happen when it looks like there's nothing about you impressive this man tried to read me y'all he said you've been single for so long you don't even know what did he say something to the effect of i don't know what it's like to be in a relationship because I've been single for so long and I spend so much time with my children that there just hasn't been enough time for me. Something like that. But when he said, you are too caring and too nurturing, I said, uh, how the hell you know that? How you figure? And he was like, oh, that's okay. We're going to talk about it later. I didn't, huh? See, I don't, be, I don't be nowhere for no men to talk to me no more. I don't go nowhere. I go to Target, the gas station. And Kroger, that's it. I, I'm stunned. She's actually turned on by the fact that this man checked her. She knew she needed to be checked. She loves the fact that a man finally stood up to her. Yeah. So I'm just getting ready to go. Well, I'm actually done, but I'm feeling cute. And I wanted to make a video like this for a little while, but because I wasn't, you know, put together, I thought, nah, I'll wait for another time. But it's just about guys with money guys with money that are actually ugly and think that they can magically make you like them because of what they have and deep down they feel an insecurity they feel they don't feel good enough about themselves so yeah it's all well and nice when you know you're splashing your money but it's very fake you want someone that's really going to be down for you and i encountered someone like that and when it came down to actually asking for their help not in like a i need money or whatever way but to like better myself they didn't want to offer that help because they can see that i view them you know platonic platonically and it just oh the man has money but it's ugly so he thinks he can um use his money to buy affection so now what you're indirectly saying you can't date him you know that you, he doesn't stand a chance to date you because he's ugly but you will consider because he's got money so you're in there because you want the money from him but you don't want to date him because he's ugly and when he refused to offer you or give you the money now you're here making video to like trash the man or trash talk the man but you just said that you can't date him he's ugly because he thinks he can use his money to buy your affection. But now you want that same money that you think he can use to buy your affection. You want it from him. God. These women. It just don't make sense. Let's go on. And it just let me know that, you know, you're dangling all this stuff over me. But luckily for me, my parents have always showed me, you know, a type of lifestyle so that I'm not excited by what you're offering me you know she big mad and she called dude ugly so the rich ugly dude that she been friend zoning with probably haven't gave this guy any box yet so meaning she friend zoned him now mm -hmm. this lady here mad because this rich man won't give her his mm -hmm. money well shout out to this man for not simping she wants some money she need to give that man a reason to spend some money on her mm -hmm. it's funny, dude, so gotta give me a reason to do that <laughs> 
You know what I mean? And what would that be? Just because this man recognized the game she was trying to run on him, she got mad about it. No, yeah. you are not entitled to that man's money. You're supposed to be the boss chick. Go get mm -hmm. your own money. Look, I am so sick of people asking me why I'm single. I live in Atlanta. Please be so for real. <laughs> And I'm ready for us to have a real comprehensive conversation about the single black woman epidemic down here because it's bad. I made a whole YouTube video about why I think there's so many single black women down here. I did my research, I had the statistics, and people really sat there and denied my experience. Like, how are you gonna tell me? I live here, I'm from here, this is my everyday life. But one of the things that I noticed and once I saw it, I couldn't unsee it, Atlanta's not a walkable city, right? You, you kind of have to get have a car to get to a lot of places. It's very spread out, our public transportation system sucks. And I realized one day that all I do every day is get in my car and go to work. I'm not meeting new people. I'm not interacting with new people. There aren't many opportunities to meet new people. And before somebody comments, yes, I do go out on the weekends. Yes, I do hobbies. There are no men there. <laughs> like it kills me when people are like, oh, stop going to the club to meet men. You need to get hobbies, you need to get hobbies. Babe, they're not at Pottery, okay? They're not in my book club. The only place I have any proximity to black men is when I go to the club on the weekend. I, like. I'm just being for real, that's it. And honestly, even if I were to run into a cute black man on the weekdays, which happens very occasionally, the odds that he is going to be attracted to me looking like this, slim. Y'all really don't fuck with girls with natural hair for real. Y'all really don't, like, they really don't. And that's a conversation for another day. But I look like this Monday to Friday, nine times out of 10. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not checking for me. <laughs> they're not in my book club. Cause they're at the gym. Now, don't go to Planet Fitness trying to find a man. Invest in, like, a nicer gym, something a little more high class, a little more luxury. But they're there. Plenty of them, too. And they like natural hair. Go to the gym. I tell people that all the time. I told my sisters that, that that's where the men are. The men are at the gym. Now, of course, a lot of those dudes in the gym, too, are players. But mm -hmm. there are some good, decent guys in the exactly. gym. I really must say I'm a gym guy, and I got homeboys in there. There's some good dudes in the gym. But we know she don't want to go anywhere where she's going to sweat her hair or those eyelashes off. So I don't know if it's me, but it's just something about my boyfriend being happy when I'm not around that really pisses me off. Like, I feel like you need to be very depressed. Like, when I come around, I want to be the reason that you smile. I want to be the reason that you breathe every day. And if you are happy and breathing when I'm not around... Let's talk about this other lady that is out here complaining that men are not checking her out and all of that. Dude, you have to ask yourself, the type of guys that you want, not like men are not checking out, her out, but the type of guys that she wants are not checking her out. The type of guys that she don't want are the ones checking her out. More than likely, she is going for probably the looks or what not and all of that and sometimes you would have a good guy but because you want a, a particular type of guy you'd be like oh um, this is who i want if not this one therefore I, I would remain rather remain single forever or what not and all of that first of all ask yourself what do you want what type of guy do you want because some people don't even know what they want they just be like okay they want a particular type of guy this guy like this, this guy like that. How many of that guy do you think are available that look like that? Like what you want is what you should ask yourself. Now let's talk about this one that is here with whatever saying a guy should not breathe or should not exist. That a guy that loves her should not breathe when she's not there. This has to be a joke, right? Let's go on. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one trending news over the weekend was actress Ekene's wedding. And guys, when I tell you Nigerians are dragging her, berating her, lampooning her for, you know, going on her knees to gr greet um, gospel singer Moses Bliss when he came to perform for her. See, it is wild. For some of you that don't know what I'm talking about, let me play the video. Let's make walk up all the way from Abuja. 
one of the biggest gospel artists right now. Give it up for Moses, please! Can she leave her husband? Oh my god. This lady has totally ruined her husband's wedding photos. Ma'am, I think you just lost your husband. Because that's how we acted not even 24 hours into the marriage? I, I, I don't think you understand what you did. I know this husband is thinking, this is a surprise that I should have saved for another day. Not on my wedding day in front of people. <laughs> but it just goes to show how dramatic and just too much a lot of these ladies can be doing i know that you're excited i know you're happy to see your favorite singer but you don't need to be getting on the ground in front of your husband his parents the kids or whoever was there but to be getting on the ground and just doing too much and be acting too extra you know just too extra excited i wish some of her girlfriends just would have ran up to her and slapped her in her face just like girl pull yourself together like what are you doing but anyway you guys let me know what you think down below about the lady who is upset about her platonic male friend that would not give her any money and definitely let me know what you think about the nigerian wedding don't forget to hit that subscribe button like the video hit the like button thanks for watching to the end i will see you in the next video okay um now let's talk about the last part the um nigerian wedding i am from i, I am nigerian so i'm not going to be biased but i'm just going to say this because it's a wedding i see it from the point of view or for the from the place that is a favorite artist is a favorite singer and she was way excited more like a wedding gift for him to perform in a wedding and what i'm reading here is the fact that people are annoy annoying that she knelt down to because on her wedding dance reception she knelt down for her favorite artist but the point here is i mean women do this even do worse than this for their favorite artist who is not gospel singer so this is our expression i mean i wouldn't do this but this is an expression people do this when they meet the likes of their favorite singer they even go strip down whatever for their favorite r b singer so how is this now any different that somebody does because it's on a wedding day people are just reading off so many meanings to this and putting words or noise on something into the husband's ear when the husband might not even be thinking of that way it's just the expression of giving his wife something that she's wanted before she wants a favorite gospel singer or gospel artist to come sing for her which is an expression of love in his own way and people he, he might not even see it in that way or in the light where people are seeing it so i don't get the rage about now let's talk about this other lady that is out here talking about or oh, the man is ugly fun fact is nobody is ugly regardless of the fact that somebody is not good looking or not presentable to you doesn't mean the person is ugly the person is not presentable to you but the person might be presentable to somebody else and somebody will check the person out and this is the problem tons of women go out here to say oh they they, they, they were raised right but they are looking for good looking man because of picture perfect instagram clicks to fit their feed or aesthetics and be like oh the man is throwing money at you well that is how you feel because the man because you don't like the man and you feel like the man would use his money to get you meanwhile in other sense you might even be the materialistic one and you're there because he has money knowing fully well that you don't like the guy I, this is crazy it just don't make sense i mean people should stop coming online to say oh there is some this person is ugly this person is what not the person does not look good to you does not mean that somebody will not check him out one man's food is another man's poison because now she's out here saying that this man is ugly but he's got money but the minute a man comes out to say oh this woman is ugly he's not gonna date her you hear all of these likes come out to say why would a man say that a woman is ugly but you just call the man ugly nobody's ugly the way she looks does she think she's prettier than him 
because she's a lady she's got tons of makeup on her face and her hair on then she she's pretty is the mentality for me this is wrong but all the same, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below. I'm sure tons of people have got different opinions regarding this. You can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.